In this video, I'm going to show you how to film eye-catching baguettes using household materials and your mobile phone. Keep watching! Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Watershare for more here to empower your inner video creator. We know that many of you are content creators on social media. Have you ever tried creating spec ads to promote your videos or channels? Spec ads or spec commercials are the videos you make to showcase your filmmaking or advertising skills. These kind of videos display existing products in your own distinct style. You can make super cool spec ads to draw attention to the brand of the product and gain more audiences for your channels. In this video, I'm going to use tools you can find at home and a mobile phone to create a super cool spaghetti like this. Curious how we made it? Let's show you how it's done. First, you need an object to showcase where it's back at. We use this perfume bottle because it has a reflective glass body. Now let's set up the background and lights. I want to set a neutral tone to this video, so I'll use a black backdrop and also cover the entire table with the black cloth. On camera, this setup makes sure the backdrop and the table surface look connected. Now let's add the lights. As I plan to put the product in the center of the table, I'll set a soft light on the top, facing the table. Don't worry if you don't have professional lights at home. Any household lights that are bright enough should work. Next, I'm going to use this small portable LED on the side. I'll hold it and move the light around to create some lighting change on the product, just like this. Now it's time to introduce some house objects that could be really helpful when filming a spec app. The very first thing we can use is a mirror. With a mirror placed under the product, we get a nice reflection that emphasizes the product by doubling the body of the product in the frame. Let's set the camera in front of the product and frame it to fit in the full product and a small chunk of the reflection at the bottom. This gives us a well-designed establishing shot of the product. Now let's bring the clip into Fermoir 10 to add more effects. To enhance this shot, we can add a smoke element on the top. Go to the top left element window, find the film stock section, select blowing smoke from the smoke volume 1 pack, drag and drop it onto the second video track, adjust the duration of the element on the timeline. Let's see how it looks! A turntable is our best friend when we need to display a product on camera because the rotation allows the viewer to see all sides of the product. I'm going to put the product on the turntable and move it to the side, so the rotation is more obvious. The footage looks pretty good, but I'm going to bring it into Fermoir 10 to enhance the rotation fact. Place the clip on the first video track on the timeline. Duplicate the clip and drop the copied clip on the second video track. Make sure to align it with the original clip. Double click the copy clip on the timeline to activate the settings on the top left. Find the transform section to activate the horizontal flip. Then I'm going to increase the scale number. Find the compositing section and reduce the opacity to 50. Change the blending mode to lighten. Right click the copy clip on the timeline. Select speed duration. Check to activate speed reverse. I'll adjust the position of each clip until I'm happy with the frame. And let's check out the final look. The last tool that we can use in product commercials are fishing wires. Tie the wire to the product. Rotate the product slightly and inertia of the movement will do the work for us. We are likely to only see a part of the product instead of the full body. This is to avoid seeing the fishing wires in the frame while filming. Grab your phone and try filming in different camera angles. Usually, we can get some surprisingly good looking shots. There are also some extra tips we learned while filming. We realized it's impossible to remove all the dust on the product and mural, but we should try our best to keep a minimum amount of dust in the frame. Bring some roller tin to clean the black cloth. 
To avoid fingerprints, make sure you have a pair of gloves to wear when moving the product and mirror around. We have also used some stock footage in the example. If you're using stock footage, make sure you have the license to use them. Feel free to check the stock footage out from films.thewatershare.com. Here you go, those are some tips for filming spec commercials and product videos. Are you going to give these tips a try? What optics would you showcase? Let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time. These kind of videos display existing products. <laughs> These kind of videos display existing products in your own distinct style.